Welcome back, you're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for joining us this whole week and especially today, momentous day on the foot of a big bumper sporting weekend. We're going to see the very best of ladies' soccer action this weekend as we welcome old foes Sweden here to South African shores. The game going down on Sunday at the Cape Town Stadium. I've got two of Banyana's young rising stars, Rufube Jane and Amokalang uh, Motau. Guys, this is so exciting. I... Before we even look at what's coming, let's look at what's happened over the last year. CAF champions, um, you have achieved incredible things on the field. You've been recognized as the best team here in Africa. How are you feeling about what you've done over the last year? Can you even let achievements like that go to your head or is it just purely looking forward? Well, um, the previous year, it was an amazing year for Banyana Banyana, looking at the fact that we won the Kosafa Championships of which um, it took us long before we could even win it again. So, and being named the CAF Team of the Year also came at the right time. So with all that being happening, it gave us a motivation to say we want to achieve more. This is only the beginning for the team. And what a way to start the year. Amo, when you think of, of what it takes to get an international team to come to local schools, it's so cool having you down here in, in Cape Town. I'm sure Des is really chuffed to be, be home in Cape Town as well. Um, how, how important is it for the team to be able to get international experience against, we're talking about the 10th ranked side in the world. Sweden, how, how cool is it to be playing this level of match on home soil? I mean, it's amazing. It shows how far the team has gone for a team like Sweden to come to South Africa. It's a big achievement and we're glad we're going to use this game as part of our preparation for the AWC and also to be able to qualify for the World Cup next year in France. And we're grateful to have such a team that, that's going to give us tough competition to be able to compete against them. Because I think people forget that in football, it's it's a long campaign. It's mm -hmm. it's not just a season. It's working towards the next ma major milestone, and obviously the World Cup is the is that kind of golden fleece that we want to achieve. Is it on track? Do you see yourselves making it to World Cup France? Well, nothing is impossible. So the way at the rate we've been going on, um, I believe that we have got what it takes to go to the World Cup and credit can only go to Sasol, our sponsor, and Banya, um, the SAFA Federation because with all that preparations, it gets us ready for any competition that we're going to play. You know, when I first started chatting to um, the, the first kind of generation of lady soccer stars coming through, that those support structures weren't there. To have a proper professional career mm -hmm. wasn't there. How important is it to have that kind of support when you look at the young team players now coming mm -hmm. through, to know that they've got those supports, they've got experienced players around them. How, how important is that, that sisterhood um, that you now have? Well, I'm a 20-year-old coming into, the, crazy, team, into yes. the team right now. And I feel like it's, it's very important for us to have people like Rafilwe to guide us and, and make sure that we get to the level where the, we're supposed to be. And also our Cecil and, and Safa making sure that we get the experience playing against teams such as Sweden. I think it's going to be good for us so that in the future we're ready. We're going to be at the level that we need to be to be able to compete at international level. All this is, is lovely, it's nice, it's fluffy, but you've still got to beat the team on the field. <laughs> how, how do we approach this as, against a team as good as Sweden? What's, what's the, the game plan? Well, the game itself is a motivation to want to achieve because looking at the fact that we've played teams of Sweden's caliber before, yeah. so we only want to get better as a team and also as individuals because we know that we don't only want to win as a team, we also want to get contacts overseas so yeah. that we can also play abroad and make sure that we achieve as individuals. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, just take a moment to appreciate um, what you are doing as a team and as individuals. It's been lovely connecting with you guys um, and go and show them how we play down south, please, this weekend. <laughs> tickets are free, guys. Cape Town City or Cape Town Stadium is where it's at, but those tickets are free. You still have to get them um, via CompuTicket and official channels, but it's free to go and support the ladies, help them kickstart 2018 on the right notes.